What's up guys, I'm Riven Roscoff and welcome to Swiss Waves. In episode 2 of Swiss Waves, we're going to be looking at Oana. Oana is located right next to Luzern and is one of the two standing wave pools Switzerland has to offer. It's mostly known in the river surfing scene, but not much ocean surfers have heard about it. So what kind of wave pool is Oana? Oana is an artificial standing wave that uses city wave technology. Below the wave there's a big tank of water, and when you turn on the pumps, the water comes gushing out super fast, which creates a standing wave because of all the water pressure from the back. At Oana, there's also a little ramp at the bottom, which helps the shape of the wave. The wave created is 1.4 meters high, and you have 7 meters of width to surf it. There's a wide variety of tricks you can do, but before we get too deep into that, let's get a quick word from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by my older brother, John Dean. He got me this mic, so... I hope the audio quality is a solid like 9 out of 10 or something. The background isn't quite there yet and the lighting isn't perfect, but yeah, I should do for this video and hope you guys enjoy. Alright, now that we're back from the ads, let's talk about tricks. Once you've figured out how to do turns, it can quickly get boring. You should move on to the easiest trick in the book, the backside reverse. It's easiestly done with a little middle fin. From there on you can move to the front side reverse, or what I did was just go straight to the straight airs. Now's the part where it really gets fun, the backside air reverse. In my opinion, the coolest looking trick of all. From there you can go straight over to the front side air reverse. Or invert it to make a front side alley-oop. You could also do the backside alley-oop. And for the grand finale, there's two types of pop shoves. The pop shove is spin out, and the pop in and out. All right, now let's look at what it's gonna be like for you in your first session. First things first, you gotta book your session. In Lake Alaya Bay, there's a lot of things to choose from. The wave is always the same in every session, so you pretty much just choose from your skill level. If it's your first time ever, I recommend the basic session. You have a coach who helps you get started. It's one of the cheaper sessions and costs around 60 bucks to surf for 45 minutes with 10 people. If you'd like to surf more in those 45 minutes, you can also choose an intense basic session, which has five people in it, but you also pay about 110 bucks. The advanced session is probably the best pick if you know how to surf. It's also 45 minutes with 10 people and costs around 60 bucks. You can also upgrade that to the intense advanced session, which I don't really think is worth it for the price. You surf for 45 minutes with five people and it costs 110 bucks. There's also a pro session where you can train with my fellow competitor Derby and he'll teach you how to do errors and stuff. And if you have enough cash, you can also do a private session, which costs 600 bucks. There's also a helmet, a surfboard, and a t-shirt included in every session. Now that you booked your session, you're all hyped to go surf. Here's how it's gonna go. You pull up to the Mall of Switzerland and go in the door to Oana. You're gonna watch a few surfers first, then check in, wax up your board, and head down to the pool. Usually the wave is already running, but if you're the first session of the day, or you're in a special session like this one, you can watch the wave build up. Once the wave is up, you can drop in in two ways. You can sit down and go, or you can jump in. Once you eat it, or you're just too tired to keep on surfing, you get sucked back, just grab your board and line up again. Alright, now I want to talk about the temperature. It's a pretty big deal because in Switzerland you usually never know what to wear. Sometimes you wear like a 5'4", sometimes you wear, n <laughs> not nothing, but you wear trunks or something. 
So Oana solves this problem pretty good. It's always tropical, averaging out at about 23 degrees. The warmth mainly comes from the pumps. Because they use so much electricity and pump so much water, it keeps the water nice and warm, and with it being indoor, the heat can't go anywhere. I usually trunk it in summer and wear a 3-2 in winter. There's some people that wear board shorts in winter too, and others that wear full suits all year long. Yeah, I love these shots. They're so good. Go close. A full suit could also be an extra layer of protection, which brings us to our next point. What are the dangers at Oana? Unlike the ocean, you have two walls to look out for. And if you're not careful, you could easily get hurt or knock out a fin box. If that's the case, check out Riven Rock Repairs, your local ding repair specialist. After you fall, there's also always a chance that your board gets sucked down onto those grooves and your fin box can get knocked out. This occurs from the suction created from the water getting sucked back down. All right, now let's talk about what kind of board you should ride. I recommend riding a board that's five to seven inches shorter than you, pretty wide, and barely any rocker. You can ride a thruster fin setup, which is really fun for turns, or you can put in a little middle fin, which makes tricks way easier. To end off the video, let's talk about some of Awana's cool features. Number one, it's indoor. As soon as you step inside, it doesn't matter if it's snowing or raining outside, it's always gonna feel like you're at the beach. This makes it the most popular surf destination in winter. Number two, parties. Moana is a great place to throw a party. If it's in your budget, you can pay 600 bucks to have the pool to yourself with your best friends for 45 minutes. After that, you could also go hit up the restaurant and go cruise on the couch. Number three, there's no paddling. Unlike the ocean, you never have to paddle. It's definitely a big leg workout though. And whenever I come back from the ocean, I feel it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, it was a lot of fun to make. If you haven't seen episode 1 at Live Bay, I definitely recommend you guys check that out. Like and subscribe so you guys don't miss out on episode 3 at Urban Surf. See you guys there.